Dickinson soccer team is in just its second year as a varsity program. The Midgets finished last year with a 6-10 over overall record, including a win in a WDA play-in game at home. This year, the Midgets are 3-7, but they've started playing some of their best soccer at the right time of the year. The Midgets also have a new coach in charge this year, Akindeji Aluafemi. It's his first, time se his first season ever as a head coach, and this week we had him mic'd up for Dickinson's game against Century. Get in there, Kyler! Pressure! Get in there! That's the ball! We go, you move, we go uh, back to where Kyler is, and you play in the weakest position, which is forward. Okay. So you play here. Okay. And uh, we go come this way. Good, good, we go. You have him. Go, keep going. Good job. Get it out. Get it out. Oh. Wait, I mean, uh, Dante, go in. Let him take it. Pressure. Sure. Good job. Come on, go. Don't relax. Shoot, come on. Are you okay? Good, good, we go. Okay, let's go. Switch. Good job. Good, good. That was nice. Good job, Jays. Good job. Oh, right idea, Dante. Good job. Good. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on, Jack. You can beat him. Good job. Well, Dickinson held that game scoreless through the first half, but Century found the net twice in the second for the 2 0 win. The Midgets have just two games remaining in the regular season, both of those on the road, one at Jamestown on Tuesday, and then a trip up to Minot on the schedule for Thursday to round out the regular season slate. And with that, we are less than two weeks away from postseason soccer. So I figured why not look at the WDA standings. Minot clinched the regular season WDA title Saturday with a big win at home. Bismarck, Century, and Legacy all bunched up at 2-3-4. and four. A big game between Century and Legacy Thursday night could determine some playoff positioning. And then Dickinson rounds out the top five.